Good morning, gentle humans. Hello, how you doing? Well, I hope. Um, we're up. It's Sunday morning. We're showered. I put on a little makeup, just a touch. You know, I wanted to feel a little cute. Wearing my favorite like caftan thing that I wear around the house. Um, I got this in a Stitch Fix box. It was the Katie Storino collaboration and I literally wear it all the time. Um, we are going to... What are we gonna do, you guys? We're gonna organize my beauty stuff because uh, it's really high time that I put away my products and makeup and stuff. I've been basically living out of my two travel bags because they were like right there and easy. Um, but I have a couple of boxes of beauty stuff I'm gonna put away and you guys can help me devise a little bit of a system. I gotta sort all of that out, but first, um, I'm about to, I've been jamming. That's why I'm like hype. I haven't even had my coffee yet, but I've been pumping some music. Suggestion, if you have a hard time sort of like motivating in the mornings now because life is so different and there's so much stress, put on some jams. It will get you going. Music has such an incredible effect on the human psyche. Um, so I'm in a good mood. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm gonna make my oatmeal, which, um, I'm always talking to you guys about like my overnight oats, which I'm obsessed with. I like it because I need breakfast. Like I'm a breakfast person. So I like breakfast that makes me full, <laughs> like for real. Not full like where you feel gross, but like satiated and like you're not gonna be hungry in an hour. These oats, let me tell you. So I have always been a fan of like oatmeal, even warm oatmeal. But I think Carla, like two years ago, I think she was on Pinterest and she started making overnight oats and she hit me to it and I've been addicted ever since. And it's one of my favorite breakfasts. So I usually like this when I'm at home or I make some sort of egg concoction. What I do is I pour basically this much oats and I've been mixing them because dude at Trader Joe's lied to me last time I was there. So I was looking for these old fashioned oats. Those are my favorite. Um, and they were out and so he goes, oh no, it's fine, just get these steel cut oats. These are tiny grains and I wasn't, I don't know, I just didn't know that. I like the like flake oat more. And so I don't like the steel cut oats alone, but I've been, cause they're really like, they're really hearty. So it's like really sort of nutty, the taste, um, meaning like they're like, they don't go soft, but to, in an effort to not waste and because I am not leaving the house. Um, I've been mixing the two. And so it kind of pumps up these regular oats with a little bit of that hardiness and I'm obsessed. The other thing I like to put in my oats is peanut butter. I like the crunchy kind. I like the Trader Joe's one because it doesn't have sugar in it because I like to put my own sugar, uh, which is honey. And I like this one with the honeycomb in. Um, so basically what I do is I take this much oats and then like a sprinkle of the steel cut ones. And then I do a splash, and I do a splash of vanilla extract. And then I do a dash of nutmeg and more than a dash, cause I love cinnamon. I go ham on the cinnamon, so I go crazy. But instead of putting water, this is what I do. I just wanna show you this. I use this. It is this blueberry lavender infused almond milk. Uh, it's at Trader Joe's. It is freaking delightful and it just gives the oats such a nice flavor so vanilla almond milk of your choice vanilla extract um something wet so almond milk of your choice vanilla extract nutmeg cinnamon that's what i do and then um you just put it in a mason jar and let it sit overnight okay my oats are ready it's not the prettiest bowl but this is freaking delicious i'm gonna eat my breakfast drink my coffee and then we are going to clean some more man I'm tired of cleaning you guys, but guess what? Somebody's gotta do it, and guess what? It's me. We're back, breakfast was had, I got dressed, just put on a long sleeve t-shirt, self-love merch down below if you want, if you can, no pressure, uh, but she's cute. And some biker shorts, because that's what we do now every day. So this I know is travel extras, and this can go in the um, the built-ins where I'm gonna keep like storage-y type things along with these extra makeup bags. I tend to use these when I'm gifting items to like friends or family or when I need like an extra uh, travel case. How cute is this one? This one was from like 
a PR package from Revlon, but this little fuzzy stitch, love it. It's worse before it's better, but I think I'm going to um, start putting some of this stuff away. But um, I just got this um, DHC uh, cleansing oil from an event that I went to. And I heard this is like the number one selling face brand stuff in Japan. Um, and I'm almost done with my Bosha. So I think I'm gonna retire this to inside the shower. And then put this one out here and then put this one out here. That way the Bosch is almost finished. I can finish using that um, when I'm removing makeup like inside the shower. That's what I use cleansing oils for. And then this one I'll just use while I'm at the sink. Also I think I'm gonna stick this castor oil, which we know is great for our hair, under the sink because I have under the sink now. I didn't have that before and I have this, and I have this basket under here. This is like, Producty things like you know your tampons and pads and alcohol and just normal bathroom stuff and then this one is hair Okay, here's what we've done so far. She's looking good um, I have my bioderma on the top Because um, I really love this and I've gone through a bunch of them and then I have some new glow recipe products up here that I want to try also a new Paula's Choice um, exfoliant that I want to try along with some Mario Badescu products that I've been using. And here I have this Derma E blue lights shield. Apparently like your phone and computer and laptops and all that are aging your face. Great, great to know. <laughs> um, along with some Biosense oils that I've been using, some Ole Henriksen, which is almost empty. I love this True Serum. The Laneige Lip Mask, which is great. My um, Used to the People Hyaluronic Acid. Um, and then I'm gonna be trying this new Honey Potion from Pharmacy, it's a mask. So I sat this in here so I had to use it. Clinique is the, the Smart, uh, Clinical is my current favorite moisturizer, but it's almost finished. So I have in also the, um, uh, it Cosmetics uh, Confidence in a Cream. I've used this a lot in the past and it's really great, especially because I've been super dry lately. And then over here, we have um, some new Kate, new to me anyway, Kate Somerville um, exfoliators and cleansers that I'm gonna be using. As I mentioned, the deep cleansing oil from DHC. Summer Fridays, I've been using this religiously and I'm obsessed. This is gonna be hair, so this is more for like, um, the hair that I wear, <laughs> like more wig hair stuff. Um, so I love the Way products for the wavy bob. And then this is like a really amazing scalp treatment that I use um, from Briogeo. It's called Scalp Revival. It's a charcoal tea tree um, treatment for itchy scalp or dryness. Cause remember I got um, like eczema when I moved here. This is just water, mister. And then some perfumes and body lotion. Looks good so far. Confession, I got distracted, but um, I had to clear out one of the cabinets. So in here used to live this stuff I just sat on the kitchen table because I thought I needed extra kitchen storage, but now that I have that banquette thing over there, we'll talk about that later. Uh, I don't need that space. So now I'm trying to figure out these. I think this is just gonna be like household items. And then this is gonna be my beauty stuff just cause it's more, I don't know, at eye level. So we have one, two, three, four um, spaces. The bottom, I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. It's just like old family photo albums um, and boxes of pictures. And then my basket of um, grab tote bags. I use those for everything from grocery shopping to um, toting things around gifting. I just try not to use paper bags as much as possible or plastic. So I usually keep those there. This is kind of the last box of beauty stuff that I could find. So it's a combination of random stuff that I've been using. Um, we did it. I need to start with the fact that I am so proud of myself for the amount of stuff that I purged beforehand because I thought I was gonna need like 70 different like 
sections in my house to dedicate to beauty stuff because I had that really full linen closet full of products. First off, this shelf is thriving. She's doing so well. Up top I have body products. I have my lotion and my body serum and then I have all the perfumes in between. The next shelf is hair. So I have out my most frequently used and aesthetic products and my mister. And then we have the things that I reach for to wash my face at night, um, right here. Then, hey, it's me. Then we have this magic, I mean, shelfy much? She looks good. I have on the top a few things that I wanna start using, um, flanked by the two uh, things I use very often. These are all my like serums and moisturizers that I use daily. Uh, this is kind of just tools, nail stuff, uh, my toothpaste, blah, blah, blah and hair oils and deodorant. Counter is looking cute. This is a vintage vase that I um, had in my room, but I stuck here. I'm gonna get some cute planting things to stick inside my soap dispenser, uh, the boob, um, what do you call this, soap dish, toothbrush, and then this little fist is for flowers. I also have some cute stuff on the ledge, just, you know, decorative items. This is the shelf that I mentioned to you guys that I didn't know what to do with. Turns out we didn't quite need it. So I stuck my fridge here because I don't always have it plugged in. Um, <clears throat> on the bottom I have uh, my water pick. And then this is just like, not sure. I think I'm gonna stick extra toilet paper and some guest towels here. Shower is also thriving. I got this like long pole shelf thing because um, I don't have a, a, a like a window ledge like I used to. So here's my Billy razor. Uh, up top is hair, then face, then body. She's looking good. And just around the bin, we have the cabinet. So again, turns out, whoa, backlit, sorry. <laughs> turns out we needed much less space than I thought because Queen Perjure here, raising her hand. So I have, the first shelf is just, um, what do you call it? Uh, swirly dupes, swivelly dupes. I think the proper name is Lazy Susan. Uh, so the first one is just like medicines and I don't know, what do you call it? Like the thing I use to spray my piercings and if you get a stomach ache and all of that kind of stuff. Then moisturizers that I wanna add into my routine soon and then other products I wanna add into the routine. But this used to be like overflowing. The second shelf is just extra makeup bags and I have my two toiletry bags, the one that I use regularly and the one that like refills the regular we used one. Extra swivelly swam dupes and extra lotions and potions and then extra makeup wipes. Like I said, I searched high and low and I couldn't find any other beauty products in the house. So I think that's it. Um, I do have to sort out my makeup, which is a whole different animal, <laughs> um, but I have a vanity for that. So I'm gonna try to use that mostly. And then of course, as you can see, there's extra room if I need it over here. Thanks for hanging out and thanks for helping me be productive. I hope this was fun to watch and a cute little distraction. Uh, remember to stay inside if you can. For those of you who cannot, thank you, thank you, thank you um, for all that you do. And that's it. Love you, mean it. Bye.